I've seen the lightning flashing. I heard the thunder roll. I felt sin breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. But I heard the voice of my Savior bidding me to fight on. God promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. No, not alone. No, never alone. God promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. Hallelujah. Well, thank God. This is Minister Hill. God bless you. Uh, Robert Hill Ministries. Today is September the 20th, 2011. And God bless you and thank God for you too. Amen. Do you not know that this is the age of computer? Hmm? YouTube goes all over the world. Now bless your heart. If you have a storefront ministry and have 30 people every, su every Sunday, but try to make it to YouTube. Bless you. YouTube goes all the way to Africa, Australia, worldwide. And we're trying to get this message out. Amen. So the day I want to talk about is communication is very essential with your spouse in a relationship. Huh? Oftentimes I hear a lot of women say that their man does not like to talk and communicate. In most cases, men, uh, they said that and more to get a woman when he was pursuing her, huh? trying to get her. He said that and more, and some, amen? Talking a lot of, talking a lot of sweet nothings in her ear. Can I move on? Once he got her where he wanted her and married her, he shut it down, huh? He shut it down. It's a fact, my friend. A woman loves to talk and communi communicate with her, her man. It is important that couples communicate and discuss everything that is at hand. Can I get a witness? A man and a woman must talk to see what is pleasing to each other before marriage. Can I get a witness? If you don't speak the same things, there is no sense in coming together other than that in flesh. Amen? If I lived in Chicago and I have met a woman that lives in Florida and we are not speaking the same thing and we are not on one accord, there is no sense in me going to Florida to visit her. Because when we communicate, everything is contrary. There is much opposition and dissension between us. So there's no sense in me budging. Can I get a witness? Communication comes before sex, not after sex. If there is no communication, what will you two do for the next 23 hours? and a half after sex, huh? In a relationship, you have to come and reason together. One person does not have the say so. Oh no, that's uh, controlling and selfishness when one person try to take over in a relationship. The skill in communicating with your mate is not to say, I don't agree with that. 
or uh, it is not to say I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. And it is not to say what are you talking about. There is a wrong way and a right way to communicate with your mate. Can I get a witness? Amen. What you do, you quietly listen to your mate when they are talking. Even though you think that they are wrong, don't interrupt. Now it's your time to talk. And you are in, a, in disagreement with your mate. So the first thing you to do is use a loving prefix. What is a prefix? A prefix is honey, darling, dear, baby, pumpkin, precious, big daddy. You use a prefix when you disagree with your mate. For example, your husband may say to you, I don't think Obama has done anything since he has been in office. Now, so you disagree with that. And then you come back uh, with the prefix. Huh? Dear, I think he needs a little more time, honey. Four years, I don't think, has been enough time. See, that's the that's the way you communicate with wisdom. Amen. Using the prefix honey and dear is showing love. The Bible said that a soft answer turns away wrath. Can I get a witness? Yes, a soft answer turns away wrath. Why would you marry someone that don't like to talk? Huh? Yes. And you know, and I'm getting back to that soft answer, uh, a soft answer to that policeman could have avoided that traffic ticket that you got. You cannot get out of a car and get smart with a police officer and think you're not going to get a ticket. No, a soft answer sometimes wins the officer over. You'll be surprised. So that's the way you, a woman, wins her husband over by the way she communicates. Amen? A soft answer. He's won over by your communication. He's sanctified by your communication. Amen? But once again, why would you marry someone that don't like to talk? Yes, I know that money talk, but money will not comfort like words from a pacifying companion. Can I get a witness? Compliment your man, amen, on the well-kept yard, the manicured yard, the hedges that's been heads and everything is looking good. Don't just come home and walk by. Give him give him a compliment. So honey, there that prefix. The yard really looks good. Man, when you go in the house, compliment your woman with communication on the way the house looks. How smell, how good it smell, huh? Prefix, dear, the house really looked good. It really looks good, honey. Discuss where you all will spend the holidays. It is not a one person's call. No, it's not. That's controlling. But you all have to come into agreement. Honey, there's that prefix. Uh huh. Let's go over to my mother's house for Thanksgiving. And when we visit your mom for Christmas, okay? See, that's communication. We'll go to my mother's house for Thanksgiving. And honey, when Christmas comes, we'll go to your mother's house. Amen? <clears throat> what do you think about that, dear? See? Everything has to be discussed 
together from finances, romances. Hey, baby, how you want it? You just don't assume. You talk to your mate. Even in love making, it's about pleasing one another. The bed is undefiled between husband and wife. You you want to discuss who's going to visit your home? You just don't let any and everybody come in your house because people carry spirits. Can I get witness? Can I get a witness? And they leave spirits behind. Amen. So once again, you have to discuss things concerning your children, even where the two of you should fellowship in a church. You know, some people are married and they go to separate churches because there's no communication. And that's what you call unequally yoked when the two of you are separated and fellowshipping with God, my God. Oftentimes, Jesus would sit, he would sit his disciples down and communicate with them. They asked Jesus, they were having a conversation, they asked Jesus, how come they couldn't cast out this demon in this man? And Jesus said, this kind, amen, this kind, only come out by fasting and praying. So once again, I hope you enjoyed that message. It was very quick. Amen. I put it out there and get it out in the world and let the world know that you have to communicate with your companion. Amen. This is Minister Hill. I hope you enjoyed that message. But before, before I go, I would like to say this. God can do anything. God can do anything. God can do anything. But fail, he can say, he can heal, only let him, I know he will, God can do anything, but fail, amen, God can do anything but fail. Bless the Lord today, oh my soul. My soul rejoice because I'm happy in the Lord. Amen. I wasn't saved all the time, but when when he reached out his hands for me, he had to reach Wait down for me. I, I was lost and undone without God or uh, His Son. Still He reached out His hands for me. Well, praise God, praise God. This is Minister Hill, live on YouTube, September the 20th, 2011. And God bless all of you. Hoping you're having a good day. Don't forget to praise the Lord. Amen. Even though there's lack in the world, but there's no lack in God. My God, get in God. And God will take care of you. Amen. I'm a living witness that God will take care of you. So I hope you enjoyed that message. Communication is very essential in a relationship. You must come together. You must keep third parties out of your relationship. Amen. Amen. When the children get out of the nest, you got to let them go, keep them out of your relationship, and talk about everything. Hmm? You have to talk it out. Be talkative. Amen. So, God bless you. And uh, I'll see you on the flip side.